Hey guys and girls, it's Shane here at Ink FX Printing. Just a real quick one, I had a question from Rachel asking about setting up collages. She's got a, a client who needs a collage at a particular size. So uh, I just wanted to quickly run through the real basics of it on how to do it. And you can sort of go from there and use all your creativity and sort of have a heap of fun with it. So first of all, I'm just going to create a new document. You can go up to File New or just click on the um, Apple New icon here. Now this is where I want to set up my um, actual file, like the canvas, where I'm going to be placing the images on top of. So what we want here is the actual finish size of our product. So in this case, Rachel was asking about a 30 by 45 inch canvas. Now. So, so the way to do that is to set it up exactly as the printed size that you want. That way when you provide the file to us, it's going to make it super easy. You're not going to have anything cropped off. It's going to be exactly as you want it. So the best way to do that is to set your width to 45. That's assuming that it's going to be a landscape image. And then 30 um, inches and you can see we can change our um, settings over here as to what we want to use. Pixels per inch. Uh, I've just had a heap of files come through from one of our clients and they were in pixels per centimeter. So what that means is if you set that to 240, it is going to be a super high resolution image, like way beyond what we need for printing. So as you can see there, 609 pixels per inch is just way too much. 240 is heaps for canvas. Um, you don't need to provide 300 um, uh, pixels per inch files for canvas in fact they can be as low as 150 and still look excellent color mode just stick to rgb 8 bits fine um, can use 16 bit but uh, for canvas uh, 8 bit will be fine background we're just going to leave it at white um, and over here we're just going to use color profile of srgb assuming that that's what you have shot in now if you if you're working in adobe rgb that's fine select adobe rgb there um, but in this case, we're just going to leave it on sRGB. Square pixels is fine too. Now we're just going to click OK. Now this is going to give us our working base. So this is our sort of our canvas area that we can start with. And this is where we can place our files. Now to place our files, we just come up to the file and come down to Place Embedded. And that's going to embed the file in our, um, in our canvas here. Okay, so I'll just grab an image here. It's just a photo I took ages ago. Um, and then we can sort of start working on it. One of the other tips with doing a collage, my personal preference is to first actually get out a piece of paper, do a very rough sketch on paper. I know it's super old, old school, but just get a piece of paper out and a pen and just kind of scribble on there, kind of work out a rough layout first. It makes it a lot easier when you're then going into uh, work in Photoshop. Um, you can also set up guides then. So if you kind of work out exactly where things are going, you might say, okay, we're going to have, um, I don't know, you know, put, put our guides here and, and here and whatever. And you can sort of do your, your basic layout with your guides. And then when you get your shot, you can just position it as is or as, as you want it. Um, might be like so, or you might have it like this and then just go, okay, I'm just going to crop, crop part of it. Now, just one other thing when you're uh, doing guides like this, if, let's say for example, I wanted this photo here to fit in this middle square area. Now the easiest, absolute easiest way to do that is to select the rectangular marquee tool up here in our tool palette. And then on our guides here, just go like so and select that. So I've selected in the guided area there. And then over here, I'm just in our layers palette, I'm just gonna click on the add layer mask icon there. And then I've got a layer mask that fits exactly our image there. Now, if I want to move the image around, I can just click on this uh, link tool, which forces the um, mask and the image to be stuck together. So they're constrained together. Um, if I unlink it, then I can actually move my image around here inside the mask. So I can, if I wanted to position it better, I can do it like so. Anyway, that's just a couple little tips in relation to creating collages. There's heaps of uh, examples on Google. If you just Google, you know, uh, collage templates or collage examples, you can get great ideas that way. But that's the basics in Photoshop, preparing your file for print. Hope it helps. Um, Rachel, have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.